So my wife and I decided to upgrade our desk in our home office, which this is the office right now. No judgment on how messy it is. We are in transition at the moment, so it is what it is. Anyway, we, long story short, we found um, the Costco sold uh, Trisanti adjustable height desk uh, for sale at a liquidation um, outlet store. Um, it was, I assume it was the floor model at one of the local Costco's. Um, it seemed to work fine. It was just a little banged up, little scratches here and there. But either way, fine. I mean, it's all cosmetic in terms of like the scratches and the whatever else. As long as it works, it works, right? So, bought it, uh, brought it home, set it up, done. Um, in talking with the guy at the store, he told me that they have another store in another town over. So getting a wild, crazy hair, I went to that store the following day, uh, found another one, same color, because they, they come in black and white. So the, my wife's is white. So I found another one that was white. But it wasn't working. So I went to go like figure it out. And they said that the power uh, cord box, cable box, um, wasn't there. So I'm like, hmm, okay. So um, I go home and do research and look at my wife's. So come to find out, uh, I looked underneath my wife's uh, uh, desk, and there's there's a cable kind of looking like um, like a laptop where you have like a cord to the wall, a little box, and then a cord that goes to where you need to plug in, right? So um, I looked at those numbers. And take a picture of it. And I'll put that here. So then I had the idea. So I need this cable. This this box cable. So I go through my box of cables. In my garage. In my shop. Uh, I think I could find it. I don't have the Pacific numbers. I have a bunch of those cables. Whatever. Also the, the, those cords. Uh, but none specifically those numbers. I wanted to make sure that I had the exact numbers. I'm not an electrician, so I don't want to blow anything up because the desk is worthless if the motor doesn't work. And if the motor doesn't work, the desk, the desk does not go up and down. It'd be nice to sit or to stand when I'm working at my desk. So I don't want to blow up the motor. The whole thing is pointless if that blows up. So I want to make sure that the cable or the uh, power box that I was trying to look for was correct. I didn't find one. Fast forward. I'm at the local thrift uh, shop, uh, Goodwill. Trying to find um, this uh, cable box, and I find one that is that is almost the same. So I'm like, okay, I buy it, figure it out, and I can return it if need be. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I want to show you what the issue was, and so I have twofold this video. I have uh, me fixing the desk, finding a, a way to power the desk. Another one, when it has, when the motor is, the, the whole operation is beeping at you and it will go up and down. So we're going to troubleshoot that together right now. I want to show you two folds in the video. If you find one of these desks at an outlet store or use a garage sale, they may be in a garage sale, um, and they're an okay price, and it's not working properly, I'm sure there's ways to figure it out. Um, the company, Electrosanti, doesn't seem to exist, or if they do, it's buried on another like family, uh, a parent umbrella uh, company. And right now, these are going for uh, $3.99 at Costco. Before, they were, I want to say, $2.99 at Costco. But right now, they are almost $400 plus tax. And if you can get them cheaper than that, um, then money in the bank. So follow me. Let's figure out what was the issue. All right. So again, don't mind the mess. So we're, we're looking underneath the desk. And right here should be like one of those power box cables. But see, it's bent. Someone took it out for some odd darn reason. So then a cord would come down here plug into the wall, another cord here would come out, go through this whatever interior, 
and then plug in to see this is the cords below the desk plug in to this one so these cords so this cord is for the motor this is the sensor cord looks like a looks like a headphone jack headphone jack looks like that this is the sensor for the table to go up and down to it, it let us know if it's at the bottom or at the top so this is important this is not for sound this is for the sensor and this is key but this is the power so this has to be powered so what I did was I found this bad boy at the local goodwill and you see it has so you can know the numbers in there maybe it's kind of fuzzy maybe I'll do a, a screenshot of that but anyway this has most of the numbers or like it's like one one digit off from the one that my wife's had so I bought it and I put it in in the little holder thing in the back here. Let's put it in. Put it up in there. And where it goes, you know, it's bent. And it's plugged on the wall. And then we come around and we plug it in to the motor. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this works. So here's the buttons on the on the lower right corner of the desk, and we're gonna go up. Oh, it's locked. Right. That's part one of this video. I don't make this too long. So if you find this desk and it's somehow missing the power cord, that's how you solve that problem. Um, that, so the, the screenshot of the, the other, the original, uh, power cable box, use that to find another cable box like it. Some are used, or you can find them online on Amazon. I'm sure the numbers would work. Um, but that works to power the motor. So find one of those, plug it in, see if it works. Awesome. That's part one. So part two, when we bought my wife's and uh got it home and i think mine too it was beeping it would it would do this thing where you go up and it would beep well i'm like well so a lot of people have issues with it it beeping like that and the thing is broken and there's a and there's some what i could find is on reddit where people were like, you go all the way up, and you go all the way down, you unplug the sensor, blah, 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 you're, you're good to go. And I tried that at the store when I bought my wife's desk, and that seemed to work, but with this desk, whenever I go to move it, it still beeps, but I'd, I'd rather have spent half the price on one that's kind of funky, and doesn't work properly, and whatever, then spend the $400 on a new desk. So what I end up doing is, let me move my monitor so I don't go up all the way up, is what I figured out is what you can do is just, if it beeps on you, it doesn't mean that's gonna stop. And that it, it, it will stop now, but you can keep on going to reset the whole thing. So we're gonna go back up again. Beep, beep, beep. And it keep going up. All right, so I'm at capacity at 46 inches. I think it goes up to 48, which is four feet, but I'm at capacity of how high I can go due to my monitor and don't mess it up. Anyway, so top, it, it will say over here, top, you're at 48 inches. And then what you do is you just go all, all the way down and that should reset it. So let's do that.
Bottom, B-O-T, bottom. Now, let's try to go back up. Ah! Now, beat me again because I didn't go all the way up, all the way up. So, crap. Let's try to figure this out again. Going up. There is top. So now we go the way back down. BOT bottom. Now we try to go back up again. So we try it with, this is power, this one here, this power, this one we plugged in, this is motor again, this is the sensor, let's try to unplug the sensor, bypass it, now try it again. So after going over the top, now the bottom of the sensor is unplugged, now we plug it back in, see if that works, plug back in, now I try to go back up the top. Still beeping. Darn it. Plug it again and try it again. Ah. So I to off camera I went up and down with the desk, um, with the beeping going up and, and whatever else. Trying to trying and then I'm plugging the sensor, whatever else. Um I'm sure there's ways to do it, and I don't know why it's, it's still beeping on mine. I have plugged in and whatever else. But regardless, the thing works. I mean, you can go up. It just won't go up continuously to your to your ideal height when you're standing or sitting down or whatever else. It will go up a few inches and beep and stop. And then you just keep, keep pushing, lift your finger up and down on the up button, and it will continue to go up. Um, it, it still works, it's just, uh, funky. So, I guess that's the part two of the video that I didn't, I mean, the part two is going to be, I haven't solved that issue, but I don't, apparently, me solving it didn't work out. So, anyway, is a, part two A is, if, if it beeps at you going up, you can still use it. It's not broken. You just It just beeps. It's really annoying. But how often are you going to go up and down with your desk? Are you going to go up and down every 10 minutes? Or go up and down in the morning, in the afternoon? And then it beeps. And then your colleagues get annoyed for a minute. And then you continue. Anyway, so that's my part one of uh, addressing um, a, a used, broken, uh, Trasanti adjustable height desk. This one here at the door was 152. Another one that my wife got was at the door 115. When I think it's a steal when they're brand new at the door before they're 299 plus tax and now the 399 uh, plus tax at Costco. Um, I think it's a steal. It's pretty cool to be able to sit when you want to sit and stand when you want to stand as you're at your computer working or on YouTube or on Facebook or. Uh, watching my channel um, anyway so thank you for watching hope this was informative to anyone out there looking into um, a, a, um, a desk that goes up and down specifically this type and brand um, and to troubleshoot if you have any troubleshooting issues like we had so hope this it was informative uh, go ahead and like um, the video if you enjoyed what you saw uh, go ahead and subscribe with notification bell if you like my channel. I get a few other ones of me fixing and building things. Uh, me with the hobby of magnet fishing, and soon it will be me with my um, 
Grabber, I forget what it's called now, but um, finding more stuff in water. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Cheers.